Alrighty, welcome back everyone. I am Blaze here. In today's video, we are going over 10 pieces of gear that you would want to have if you're playing Necromancer. And I'm mostly going to be focusing on the classic to Velius era in this video, but there will be a few other nods to later expansions. None of these items are in any particular order, but I do have red text on the items you really want to get. I put MH or must have. Item number one is Circlet of Shadow, the pre-nerf version of it. So this one is an instant click invisibility that becomes available in the Kunark expansion. It is tradable, so you can buy it in the Bazaar or the uh, Common Lands Tunnel, wherever they're selling it. The main uses that you'll get this for is for navigation, just getting around zones, charm breaks, and popping it as soon as you stand up from fame death. But what I found is instant invisibility items or AAs for any class are incredibly useful. It's a workhorse that you're going to be using for the rest of your experience in this game. So if you can get this, you, you definitely want to. This is a big item you really want to get if you're playing Necro. The number two must-have item is Journeyman's Boots. Necromancers have no way to increase their run speed. So having something that can help you get around quicker is really, really helpful. It's also an insta-click buff that helps you out with dispelling ray targets, like almost all these early ray targets are from Classic Develius. And a later item I'm going to show, the Fungi Staff, it's a snare. It'll actually strip off all your run speed buffs, so you want to have a way to put back a run speed buff on yourself. The number three item you'd want to get is the Fungus Covered Great Staff. This drops in Sevelis during the Kunark era. There is a post nerf version that's only usable by, I think, Shamans and Druids. You don't want that. You want to get the pre nerf version that is usable by everybody. And this is a very big must have for Necros because it gives you a little bit of extra HP regen. It does come along with a snare on yourself when you do use it. But that extra bit of HP regen helps counteract the hit points that you lose from having your Lich line of spells. Necromancers, they like to use a Lich spell that saps their hit points to give them mana. And if you don't have any way to counteract the hit point loss, you'll eventually die. So you want to make sure you do something for that. And the number four item that Necromancers want to get, I think this is the absolute most important item maybe circle of shadows being number two but this one being number one the demi lich skull cap you can mq this item you can multi-quest it it is available in the kunark era i'm not sure if it's on p99 but it's definitely on time lock progressions it's definitely on live and it has to do with progressing through various steps in this ixar necromancer quest line and this item is actually considered to be the real Necro Epic 1.0 because the clickable effect on it is great. So it's about a one minute long dot called Morturnum and the amount of damage it does actually scales as you level up. I think it's about like 100 damage or so, 122 damage at level 50 when you get it. It does take a long time to cast, but why it's so big is it is a life tap dot it is a free life tap dot so with this you can easily counteract the loss of hit points you get from your lich line it doesn't cost any mana so you, if you're out of mana you can always at least have some sort of dots you can cast out and it's a very hard to resist dot most mobs cannot resist this dot on them but it works really, really well. It works really well with Lich. Number five is the Epic 1.0, the Scythe of the Shadowed Soul. I don't consider this one to be a must-have unless you're planning on doing the 1.5 and 2.0 Epics in the Omens of War expansion. So you have to get the 1.0 done to be eligible to do the later Epics. But... The reason why I don't consider it to be that critical is just because the clickable effect on it isn't super great. It's a snare dot, 
that lasts for, I think, about a minute or two. It takes nine seconds to cast, though, which is really a pain. It's the same thing with the Demi Lich Cap. The Demi Lich Cap, it takes ten seconds, which kind of sucks. But at least the Demi Lich Cap has a better clickable effect. That life tap is really big for Necros. But uh, one thing about this epic is typically it's one of the first epics ever completed on a TLP server because most of the items for it can actually be gathered prior to Kunark. The next item you want to get is called the Encyclopedia Necrothergia. This actually comes from Plane of Hate from a raid boss. And it is a pet focus item. So every few expansions, there's a piece of gear that drops. Like, I think Vexthal had a few of these in uh, Luckland or Lukeland, however people say it, that boosts the level of your pet. So it makes your pet stronger. And uh, in this particular one, it has a clickable effect. It's instant called Reclaim Energy, of where you can unsummon your pet and get a lot of mana back for it so like if your pet if you know it's gonna die and you need some mana back just click it you know if your pet's only has five percent health left and it's about to die just click this it doesn't really matter and get some mana back at least number seven is the guise of the deceiver the pre-nerf version of it the post nerf is only usable by bard and rogues but the pre-nerf is clickable by anybody it's available for a pretty long time on TLPs. I think at least till Kunark starts. And you get this down in Guck. And it turns you Dark Elf Illusion, which helps you out with faction in some places, like say in the over there, if you go to Niriak. And it also gives you Ultra Vision. It gives you the best night vision in the game. I like this because the best race objectively to play Necromancer is Ixar because of the HP regen they get, the innate. But sometimes you don't always want to look like an Ixar. Sometimes you want to look like a Dark Elf, a really cool looking race. Number eight is an item that comes from Kunark, from Chardok. It's called a Shiden Revenant Bobble. It is a quick cast, basically Dead Man Floating, but a lesser version of it. it gives you Levitate, Enduring Breath, so Water Breathing, and a bit of Poison Resistance but it's self only. It's a pretty nice item and you can actually buy it, it's tradable. Now these next items are actually post Velius, but they're stuff you really, really, really wanna get. So for number nine, it's actually getting a mount. And this becomes available in the Lukeland expansion. It's a absolute must have. When you're on a mount, you get a permanent sitting bonus as long as you're not moving. So your mana regeneration and your HP regen will always be at their max capabilities. It also helps you out with aggro generation because when you're on a mount, you're not technically sitting. Ideally, prior to this, you want to sit down so you can meditate mana quicker. But the problem is when you sit down, you generate more aggro against mobs. So if you have a lot of dots you've thrown out as a necro on a mob and you sit down, you're probably going to rip aggro from the tank. Uh, the mob's going to start beating down on you. This fixes that. With mounts, you never have to actually sit down, so you will never actually have to rip aggro from a tank. The only con is you can only use this outdoors, in outdoor zones, but you get a run speed boost with this. There are some mounts that actually go up to almost max speed in the game. It's called Celos mounts, and they're just great pieces of gear. It, you definitely want to get the best mount you can if you're playing Necro. And the last item we'll cover here today are focus effects. So these are pieces of gear that have a little focus text on them. And they start to take effect after the Lukeland expansion drops. So in Velius, if you see any gear that says focus on it, it won't work. Velius prior, but any, past Velius it will. And... What they are, they're these pieces of gear that have special bonuses on them that help out casters primarily. So you have some that do help you out with summoning pets, with the speed of it, the mana cost of it. You have some that just gen in general reduce the mana cost of spells, all of them. You have some that boost the range that you can cast spells on targets. 
You have some that increase the damage your dots do. You have some that decrease the amount of mana that it costs to cast your dots. So the big ones I think you want to get as a necromancer are the burning affliction and burning efficiency. I spelled that wrong. Those are the ones that really deal with your dots. But that is all for this video. Thank you guys all for watching. If you have anything extra you think should be in this list, please comment that below. I will see you in the next one.